Ladies and gentlemen, a new snapshot for Minecraft Java Edition 1.17 has been released. This is Minecraft 21W11A. My name is Sliced Lime, and in this video I will go through all the technical changes in this version. There's already a gameplay changes video available, I'll put that in an iCard on the video right now and in the video description. I'd suggest you watch that first to get acquainted with all of the gameplay changes, because some of them will have bearing on the technical changes in this video. Anyway, this one is much smaller in terms of technical changes than the previous few snapshots, so let's just dive in and go through the changes, starting with a command fix for teams. Teams would become completely dysfunctional when any entity left a team that is fixed in this version. In terms of data and IDs, there are a number of renames and changes. The Cave Vine's body and Cave Vine's head have now been renamed to Cave Vine's plant and Cave Vine's respectively. This matches the pattern used for other similar block types such as kelp and twisting vines. A change has been done to the data of area effect cloud that didn't have a limit for the maximum radius. The maximum radius of an area effect cloud is now 32. And the small drip leaf block now has a facing block state. Let's talk about resource packs. Of course, there are those renamed blocks mean that lots of things have moved around in terms of paths and file names. In addition, lightning rods now have a new model that is the powered model. You can find that under lightning rod on and it has both a separate model and a separate texture file. Let's talk about particles. There are new particle types in this version. They are electric spark, scrape, wax on, and wax off. Tag news. Tinted glass has been added to the default setup of the impermeable tag. Cave vines have been added to the default contents of the climbable tag. Tuff has been removed from the stone or replaceables block tag and added to the deep slate or replaceables block tag. And there's a new item tag. It is cluster max harvestables and it contains all of the pickaxes by default. This is used from the loot table of Amethyst Shards. There are also new recipes for the crafting of copper from waxed copper blocks and new recipes for crafting mossy cobblestone and mossy stone bricks. Let's talk about performance and stability for a little bit here. There is a fix in this version for a problem where you would get log spam from unupdated structure data in world files. That has been a common request for fixing in technical communities, so I figured I'd bring that up in the technical video. There's also a new functionality for dumping performance metrics to disk. I talked a little bit about this in the main gameplay video. What you do is press F3 and L to start a performance run, and then either hit F3 and L again or wait 10 seconds to get the metrics dumped. So what does this file contain? Well, it contains a bunch of the normal style profiling stuff. We're talking about client-side metrics here, not server-side this time. It's a little bit of the same data that you would get in the F3 uh, graphs, in the pie chart and graphs there. So right now, your folder will contain a profiling.txt file, which is pretty similar to the normal profile you will get if you do just slash debug start. However, this is client-side, not server-side. There's also a deviations folder that has files for whenever there was a big deviation. Basically small freezes or spikes. And then finally there's a metrics folder that has a bunch of data in it which is all comma separated value files. So that's reasonably easy to sort of understand the format of and you can load them up and see. There's a dumping of frame times for instance, the total task durations, rendering chunk stats, a bunch of different things here. These things are not guaranteed to stay the way they are, but if you need some performance data on something that you're working on, then this could be a useful tool. And finally, let's talk about custom world generation. There aren't that many changes in this version, but some of the formats have indeed changed. One such change is in the Canyon Carver configuration. There was something called Distance Factor. This is now still called the Distance Factor, but properly spelled out in Snake Case rather than Camel Case. There was a bug in the Growing Plant feature that meant that if you anchored it in a ceiling, it would start generating two blocks too high up, that is above the ceiling block rather than below it. That is fixed in this version. The height map with water threshold decorator has been renamed. It is now just simply called water depth threshold. 
And the simple block state provider will now preserve the state given to it, even if that state is a double plant. That is, for instance, in vanilla used to preserve the facing state of the small drip leaf blocks. There's now a new moss patch bone meal configured feature, and the drip leaf feature has been changed to include the small drip leaves in all of the different orientations. And those were all the technical changes in this version, quite a much smaller one than the previous few snapshots. As usual, the full reference files for the custom world generation formats from Vanilla are linked in the video description. And there you can also find links to the main update video. That's it for me for this time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video useful and if you did, please help me out in return. Leave a like, share it with a friend and maybe leave a comment down in the comment section. That really helps me out in the YouTube algorithm race for 50,000 subs. Thank you so much. If you want to stay up to date, please subscribe to the channel. I make both gameplay and technical update videos for every new snapshot, pre-release, release candidate and a full release of Minecraft Java Edition. And don't forget to hit the bell icon, of course, to get notified by YouTube when the videos are done. Again, thank you so much, my name is Slice Lime, and I will see you next time.